Hey guys, welcome to Gluten Free For All TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make the best salad in the entire world. A gluten free sticky pork belly salad. Start with a piece of pork belly. It should be about an inch to an inch and a half thick. You want to remove the excess skin and any fat as well. You want to be left with a nice lean piece of meat. Be sure to remove any silver skin as well. At this point you want to season with some salt and some pepper, both sides preferably. Next, place your pork on a cookie sheet inside of your roasting pan. Add one cup of cold water and seal tightly with a piece of foil. Next, you're going to bake it in the oven for about two and a half hours at 170 degrees Fahrenheit or around 350 degrees Celsius. In a small food chopper, combine two red chilies and one thumb of ginger. Get the rest of your ingredients together and we're going to head over to the stove. On medium to low heat, add two chopped shallots and two garlic cloves. You want to sweat them down, get them nice and translucent, but you don't want them to caramelize. So once they're cooked down, add your fish sauce, give that a good mix, and then you want to add your palm sugar. Now mix this in really well. You want to make sure it's fully dissolved. Next, add the juice of two limes, your chili ginger mix, and your kaffir lime leaves. Let cook for about 10 minutes or until your sauce starts to thicken. Be careful not to cook it too long though, you don't want it too thick. It has to have a bit of a runny consistency as this is going to be your main salad dressing. So remove from the heat and allow it to cool. Once your dressing is cooled down, add your fresh cilantro, give it a good mix, cover and just place in the refrigerator until we're, you're ready to use it later. Now that the dressing's done, remove the pork from the oven and wrap it in some cellophane. You want to put it in the fridge for a couple hours because you want it to get nice and firm and you want it to set. Now in a separate pot you want to add your reserved pork liquid that was at the bottom of the baking sheet. I hope you didn't throw it out. Put it on medium heat and then add your butter. I know it seems like a lot of butter but trust me the recipe needs it. So once that starts to melt you want to get your sugar and add it to the mix. Once the sugar dissolves, you want to stir, keep an eye on it for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is what's going to form your caramel sauce for your pork salad. You want it to turn a nice toffee color, a nice deep brown like we show here. Now that we have a nice dark color, we're going to add our fish sauce. You got to be very careful right now because it's going to be hot. At this stage you want to turn off the heat. Add your honey, your Worcester sauce. Your chopped garlic, it's going to cook in the liquid because it's still nice and hot. Your kaffir lime leaves and your soy sauce. Give that a good mix and let it cool. Add your chopped coriander and set aside. By now your pork should be set. So remove the cellophane and cut it into one centimeter by one centimeter dice. Be careful not to break up the pork because you want to keep them in cubes. I'm making salad for one, so I'm only going to cut up a few for it right now. Add some sunflower oil to a medium to high heat pan. Toss in your pork cubes and brown on all sides. What you'll be left with are some crispy, delicious pork belly cubes. Oh my goodness, these are delicious. Now toss them in some of the reserve sauce. Make sure they're well covered. Make sure to keep the pieces intact. And finally, lay on a bed of fresh cucumber, mango, tomatoes, and drizzle with that lovely Thai chili sauce.